there's still plenty of time left until they have to get to, you know, the gates to stop the opening that's going to let Ocifero out and pretty much end humanity. But for now, uh, something I actually did think was funny because I just saw the, um, I saw the, the preview kind of like set up going into the next episode for the anime and they're going to have a bunch of the captains fight and then in the manga we're going to see Asta fight, um, Asta fight against Nock with Libe and... I, I do like that it's like set, it's setting up just this big fight week. I think that's going to be really cool to just to see like all these different characters just go at it. But for this fight, I did like the the whole way that Nox form was presented and how like you had Idomelo go into that uh, or sorry Gimodelo go into like the shadow and come out like his full self like a larger uh, devil and. I, I still have to give the, the shout out to uh, RTL Faith for being the one, at least for me, maybe it's like somebody said it before him, but at least for me, he was the first person that said for me that Nock will probably have different forms for each of his doubles, which I feel like that's just very, very, very likely. I feel like that's very obvious now, considering the fact that, you know, this form specifically has the... Gimodello's horns and I feel like once he switches it's gonna have to be just a completely different style if he's gonna have a different set of horns I think that would be really cool though if he's got full like just four like the way that he fights he's got four outfits four different kind of like ways that he utilizes his shadows with his devil powers I think that'll be really cool just to see um put up Frost because I think they're all gonna be tricky and it's gonna be hard for us to just to fight him not because it's just like a straight out know, head to head that knock is just going to be way more tactical and way more setting up uh setting up moves but also just being like relentless in the way he attacks just a, a way more of experience than vicious fighter pretty much but i really want to see asta and lee bay's teamwork i i'm curious to know if they're gonna fight like almost alongside each other because Lee Bay came out like this at the end of the chapter, so I'm wondering if he's going to be able to kind of, like, fight next to Asta, or if that's just something that he can do while, you know, idle and not do anything. Because I was expecting it to be kind of, like, the little tiny version that, like, Noct has, but as we've seen, like, Noct was able to do, like, make his, um, make Gimodelo turn large, and obviously we've seen him do it with his other ones back with the captain, so I'm wondering how often Asta can make, like, make it so Libe can appear in full form like this out in the world. But other than that, like, I, I'm fully expecting his kind of travel state to be almost like a miniature version of himself, kind of like what we've seen with uh, with Nox Devils. I think that'd be cool. I like the idea of Asta having, like, a little Libe kind of, like, hovering around his head, just kind of, like, doing little, little nefarious things. But... The big takeaways I think that are going to have to come about this fight are going to be how exactly Asta can develop his fighting style technique more than anything. Because that's one of the things that I think Asta really needs to improve upon. It doesn't have to be like some giant revelation in how he fights. But I do think that he needs to have some form of just general upgrade to his fighting capabilities. Because it's like when he we came out of the time skip and he had the ability to call back his swords that was a big thing for him because now he one he can throw his weapons and not have to worry about retrieving them if he can call them back but also if he gets disarmed he can call them back to him that's a, that was honestly like a very small yet really big thing for asta's just the way he fights and a big key trait about libe versus asta was libe is what a lot of people kind of play Asta off as like whenever you have somebody who just kind of wants to downplay Asta's accomplishments they're like oh he's just he's only where he's at because he has an OP power no he's out where he's at because he had he obtained like an OP power and then honed it into like a really really useful weapon and he's been you know keeping up with all these other characters and doing so throughout it if Asta was as much as just kind of dependent on the power he'd be way more like Libe because Libe when he was fighting Asta it was just straight physical brute force and anti-magic there was no real kind of skill behind his the way he fought and i think that's going to be the big thing for like him and asta going forward and i, I mentioned before like because I, I think both of them kind of like gaining off of each other and just like how can they get better like together is going to be one of the big things for them i feel like that's obvious but one of the big things i mentioned 
a couple like chapters ago in review, it was always to me one of the biggest kind of like drops for Bleach. Not like anything kind of like large scale, but when you think back at like when Ichigo fought against his hollow self, you know, when he fought against the, you know, the white Zangetsu kind of setup, he there, there's like a scene where the white one is holding on to the, the wrapping of Zangetsu and he spins it like a circular saw, like just like a big buzz saw. And he's able to fight with it like that. And there's like this part where Ichigo's like, wow, I never thought of doing that. And we just saw Libe hovering, like floating the anti-magic swords around him to where he was using three at once, as well as he didn't even have to swing them. He was just kind of moving his arm and use them from a distance. That's something that I think Asta should like, in his head, knowing Asta, should be like, I need to figure out how to do that. And I really just see this fight going out as Asta trying to improve and just figuring out a new step for his abilities more than anything else. Because general like increases in like uh, how much anti-magic you can pull out, speed, physical strength. That's all something that I think is, can progress very normally just from training. But I really want to see Asta come out of this with something kind of like a big new step for him. Not just like, you know, being, you know, in an alliance with Libe, but having something new to how he's like going to fight. Like if Asta can... Like, if, if Asta can kind of gain the ability with, like, the Demon Dweller to, like, throw it like a spear almost, because the one of the big things about the Demon Dweller is, you know, if it goes into somebody, if it pierces into them, it can absorb their magic. Big thing that he can use, especially against Dante, but I think Hovering Swords is going to be really useful for him. I mean, he's already got, like, flying on the Demon Slayer Sword, so who knows what exactly he's going to pull out, but I, I do really think that Asta needs to have some form of just new big upgrade in general. Not not just like his arm or, you know, he's got the katana. Maybe like if he unlocks the ability of the katana, then like whatever its anti-magic skill will be, that'll be something though to come out of it. Maybe that'll be the thing. Like it just hones his stats or something. I don't know. Either way though, comment below, uh, thumbs up the video, put the like button, subscribe button, and check out my other videos. I, I'm really looking forward to this because I think it's just going to be a big exposition fight chapter. And I, I really look more like just like the episodes and the anime come up. I, I'm really hoping I don't need anything crazy. I just want to see spells from captains. I don't need to see definitive like where they rank amongst each other. I just want to see a display from them. I just want to see like each of them be like, yeah, each captain came out of it with two to three spells, like two, three brand new spells. And I'm hoping we get that here. Like I want to see like a new technique from Asta. I want to see a couple moves from from Nock. I, like all I want out of, out of these fights obviously like I said like I want to see like a cool new progression uh, point from Asta that's true but overall I just want to see I just want to see what these guys are capable of that, that's all I really want I just want to see what these guys are capable of and like how they're going to move forward and all this so on that I'll comment below thumbs up the video before the like button subscribe button and uh, check out my other videos rather than that I appreciate everybody's already subscribed and I thank you all for listening bye